Freddie, what is your morning tips? Okay. Thank you for sharing that. channel and this is a tips Thursday video so I can see that the backgrounds a little different it's because one I'm looking for a new background and two because I want to get into the theme and the mood of how to slay your mornings so this video is for the people who are not typically morning people so that's me right here and you know when you hit this news button too many times and you're late and that hassle you have to go through well these tips help help that situation so you don't have to worry about oh what I'm gonna eat what I'm gonna wear you'll slay every time you do this so at the end of the video there will be a makeup tutorial of this look so this is for all the girls and guys that are extra you know you want to look pop in and have that highlight sling so if you want to see that I will put the time in the description box and also on the screen where the makeup tutorial begins but if you want to see how I slay my mornings with these tips, please keep watching. Okay, so the first tip is to lay your clothes out. When you lay your clothes out, be realistic because I know for me, when I wear very glamorous outfits, I feel like I need to have accessories and makeup. And, you know, I have different ideas for outfits. Like if I go super bum-like outfit, I'm wearing makeup most likely. But then I have outfits where, you know, my sweatpants and my top is matching, so I don't wear makeup at all. And then there's times where I have put a little bit of makeup on, something a little not too fancy, not too normal, but just a little pop of something. Be realistic of how you dress. So if I was on my period, I would not wear something that's like snatching the waist and super tight because I'm not trying that. But you will see me rocking sweatpants or something very loose and, you know, plan accordingly. So I usually plan all my outfits out. On Sunday, I pick out two glamorous outfits so it gives me some, you know, cushion of what I want to wear at the end of the week because I usually dress up Friday or Saturday. So, you know, I plan that out and then I plan out the rest of my outfits, which may just be jeans and a band t-shirt or a sweater and some high-waisted jeans stuff like that and stuff like in the, in the clip so that is the first tip the second tip is to cook your breakfast at night when I was cooking my breakfast at night I swear I ate pancakes sausage bacon and eggs all of that in the morning without the hassle of where like oh my gosh I'm still gonna put my makeup on oh my gosh I still have to put my clothes on I have to take a shower I gotta brush my teeth no it not, there was none of that I ate like a king at breakfast without the hassle why because I did it the night before so pick whatever you want to eat especially if it's something that is time consuming cook that the night before and I promise finding your food in the morning is so easy I mean of course don't Pour a bowl of cereal at night and then eat it in the morning. It's kind of good unless you like that. But if it's something like pancakes, waffles, you know, overnight oatmeal, a fruit bowl, a smoothie, stuff like that, do that the night before and that will help definitely make your mornings a lot easier. So the third tip is not necessary, but it helped me is to dye slash tint your eyebrows. I have a tutorial on my Instagram, so if you want to go check that out, you know, I'll put that in the description box as well as my account. So tinting my brows is something that I invested my time into and money because, you know, I get lazy. And the only thing I actually do do in the morning when I have super lazy days for makeup is just put eyebrows on, some lip balm, and probably mascara and probably a little bit of concealer and foundation depending on what to what extent I'm trying to go for but usually 100% of the time is eyebrows but ever since I started tinting my brows I usually don't do my brows I just literally wake up put my outfit on eat breakfast and I'm just ready to go of course shower and brush your teeth <laughs> but yeah 
So tinting your brows is not necessary, but it's definitely useful for the people who feel like their eyebrows is kind of lacking in the depth and darkness. Okay, so the fourth tip is to take your shower the night before. So I know some people have a problem with taking the shower the night before because you're like, oh, but you're sleeping in dead skin and stuff. Well, if you're not a morning person and you press the snooze button way too many times, you're not going to take the shower. I know you're not. And if you do, you might pull one of those, oh, I'm brushing my teeth, washing my face, and showering at the same time. I've done that before, and I am not living that lifestyle at all. So I take my showers the night before, so it makes everything flow a lot easier. As you can see, the trending tip of these videos, like, of these tips, the trending tips of these tips, is that I do things the night before. Because when you're not a morning person, most likely you're a night person, so get all that stuff done when you're actually... When you're most active, get all that stuff done. <laughs> okay, so my fifth tip, I believe this is gonna be my last tip, but my fifth tip is to definitely grab all the stuff you need, the night before, of course, but gather it all together in one place. So, I'm homeschooled, so I don't go to school like, oh, I have to grab my books and all this stuff. All that is over there at my desk. It's like right across the room. All that stuff is taken care of. But, I was and still am in activities. So at one point in my life, I was a dama and a quinceanera. Um, the other point in my life, I had swimming classes. I had tom sudo, which is a Korean fighting style. And I had music lessons. So all the stuff that I needed, I made sure I packed it the night before. So when I was going to karate, so this is for you people that go to school, make sure Especially if you're female, make sure you have extra pads, tampons, and panties. Pack that in a Ziploc bag, put it in your bag. Have an extra pair of pants or a jacket because you never know when you may bleed out. It's not worth skipping the education. Don't, don't call home. Just bring the bag. Stuff. Bring perfume, deodorant, just stuff you need. Like for me, I feel like that's the stuff that I needed to like freshen up and make sure it smelled good because karate had me sweating so much and some people did not smell good at all. I did not want to be one of those people. And literally everybody was saying, Krista, you smell okay, like Okay guys, perfume. so that's I completely smell. failed at the makeup the part. Strap. The camera wasn't even in focus or on my face, so no, I will be okay. uploading the video so, on Monday, so stay night, tuned so for that, that love. I really hope you enjoyed the tip video, though. Or so, stuff yeah. gym, makeup that you may need to touch up for later, pack all that the night before, and put it in a place where you won't forget it. So, that is my last and fifth tip, I believe. <laughs> Okay, that was it. I really hope you enjoyed the tips as well as the clips and skits that I put in the video and the makeup. Okay guys, so I completely failed at the makeup part. The camera wasn't even in focus or on my face, so I will be uploading the video on Monday. So stay tuned for that look. I really hope you enjoyed the tip video though. So yeah tutorial for the girls you know who want to get glamorous and guys so you know gotta pop that highlight so i hope you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe check out my social media platforms all the products that i use will be in the description box and hopefully i see you again in the next video